Ohio State defense coming off a game where it flattened Iowa. You know, a, a defense, an offense that it knew was vulnerable coming in, and Ohio State went put them even farther into the ground than they had been over the first six games. And yet, there's still a lot of talk around this team about how much more this defense can show, how much more of this defense can still be unleashed. Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com, along with Stephen Means and Doug Maurice. And, and you were interested in that concept today because it's been something that Jim Knowles has been talking about for the last couple of weeks. I mean, and for instance, last week coming in talking about, oh, maybe we'll start blitzing the safeties more. Maybe there's some other wrinkles they can do schematically. And that is kind of a, a fascinating thing right now that this defense has come so far but could still be in a, a phase of growth towards something even better. Yeah, I just – Listen to Jim Knowles on Tuesday. I just think it's very encouraging about this defense that they, they played very well on Saturday against Iowa. You can I think you can see more things happening. Guys are sort of talking about that, the idea of maybe guys are able to cheat a little bit because when you're confident what you're supposed to do, you can start throwing some things um, at the quarterback and make him think even more. That might lead to more turnovers. But Jim Knowles says, you know, we work on things two and three weeks out, and we don't put them in the game plan yet. And – and he almost said, we haven't needed to yet. And so, um, listen, there were a lot of people that were very enthused about the hiring of Jim Knowles in the offseason. And I just thought it was fair to like, to, okay, like, let's see, you know. But I, I think we see it. I, th this is a, I think this is a very well-coached defense that has an absolute plan that the players are confident in, the players are understanding, and I don't think we've seen the best of it yet. And so – Maybe I'm late to the party and everybody else is already there. I just think there is a lot to be very encouraged about with where the Ohio State defense is and where it's going to be. And every Tuesday when Jim Knowles comes in and talks about it, I, I end up coming away feeling like, man, I, like they've kind of got this figured out. There's, there's a real momentum, and it is a momentum that had been building since the preseason and hasn't really been interrupted yet. And – I was thinking that there may not be a case because there's so many games where he's right. They haven't needed a lot. They haven't needed to get too complicated because many games they'll have some success early in this offense is scoring every possession. And the the pressure that that puts on another offense, it quickly take, can take them out of what their original game plan was. And now Ohio State's just in a, in a dominant position. And they haven't had to you know win in the second half a lot yet defensively. I mean, other than maybe the Notre Dame game, there haven't been a lot of those instances. And Penn State is finally an opponent. That they've had some offensive struggles this year, too, but you've got a veteran quarterback. You've got at least one receiver that you have to respect in Parker Washington. You've got a running back who's kind of burst on the scene this year, a true freshman, Nick Singleton. Uh, they've even got a tight end that's, that's got some good numbers, uh, Brenton Strange. This is a maybe in Penn State, an offense that can put guys at every level to – that, that Ohio State has to respect, and maybe this because of that we might see some kind of new wrinkle this week defensively. On paper, it should be that, right? We'll see what actually happens on Saturday. But I, I think it's almost how how we were asking Jim Knowles about the defense in the off season, where it's like, okay, how much of the how much uh, what percentage are you at? He'd be like five percent, and then twenty five percent, and then fifty percent. Oh, we're good, we're ready to go. It's almost like, okay, how much have you shown? Okay, we shown five percent, we shown twenty five percent, we shown fifty percent. We saw a real leap in that on Saturday when he threw out the three linebacker look, but then also threw out the dime look with Cameron Martinez and Tanner McAllister out there at the same time. So we're starting to see that stuff. You know, is it going to be at like 60% of what we think this defense is against Penn State, and is that enough to win this game? Maybe. Maybe it's not. We'll see on Saturday. But we're slowly seeing everything that this defense is supposed to be and not just – the first half of the season, it was just like, let's just be basic because we can be because we're going to win these games anyway. Now we're seeing some of the complex stuff that made Oklahoma State's defense, especially last year, as good as it was. One thing I want to add, the, the very first – this is how the book will start. The very – the defensive book, Jim Knowles' memoir. The very first play that Jim Knowles ever called as Ohio State's defensive coordinator, they blitzed the corner – they missed a tackle, and they gave up a 54-yard catch and run. And I don't know that any play since then you felt the Ohio State defense, like, be out of itself. You know, like the idea of it was almost like he got here and was like, let's go. And then it was like, oh, that didn't work. And I feel like they pulled back, and now they've been slowly pushing forward. But, like, you don't see stuff like that anymore, right? That they, they execute, they're aggressive – but they also are not giving up huge plays because they're overly aggressive. And that balance, as Steven says, you're working in more and more, that balance is just really promising to watch. 
Yeah, there have been some individual breakdowns, some guys who didn't make. I mean, especially the cornerback didn't make some plays at, at the point of the catch. But those things have stood out a lot, and there's only been a handful of them. But they've really stood out because the rest of this defense has been so fundamentally sound. I think what's helped with that is they had – first of all, they had none of these things last year. They are They have a plan actual defensive plan that they go on with every week it's being executed but then guys have emerged as stars they didn't have any of those three things last year whether it's my call on the defensive line even Lathan Ransom in the secondary he's a semifinalist for the Thorpe Award now who would have thought he'd been that at this point we're seeing Jordan Hancock we saw him on Saturday we saw a little bit of what he can do can he start to emerge even more and more so when you have all those pieces you have guys emerging as stars you have an actual plan that people are executing and guys are getting confident week in and week out. That's why we feel so good about this defense every Tuesday when we talk to Jim Knowles. Well, I think they had a plan last year, but I don't think they had a identity. I don't think they had, you know, Jim Knowles was talking about that today, like in relation to turnovers and creating turnovers and why these last couple weeks Ohio State has maybe been picking that up. Some of it is, is luck and opportunity, but some of it is the comfort level, the confidence that these guys have maybe like head to toe now within this structure that now they – have feel the freedom to like take some chances make some plays and you're starting to see some takeaways a lot more about this this week on buckeye talk and get the text 614-350-3315 for news and analysis every day from buckeye